welcome back. We're moving now into our first segment for the morning. It's going to be an exciting one as we've got a lovely lady sitting there. She'll be telling us all about the new thing. Huh? Yeah. But this segment is actually geared towards uh, talking about uh, Christmas promotions and latest addition to eCash from the Belize Bank. In with us to talk about it, Agatha Ruta. She's actually head digital of retail and business banking at the Belize Bank Limited. Good morning and welcome. That's correct. Good morning. Good yeah. to be back. Good to be with you guys again. <laughs> and how are you today? Very well. Yourself? I we're doing great. We I could know, tell you that. Right? Much. I, I heard you guys singing. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats. It's your turn next. It's your turn <laughs> next. <laughs> so let's get right into it. It's the new thing, the new kid on the block. So I want to ask you the question. How is eCash going along? Yes, you see right now we are the fourth month after mm -hmm. the launch of eCash mm -hmm. and we already have almost 40,000 users. Wow. Uh, we processed 25,000 person-to-person transactions, mm -hmm. over 10,000 QR code transactions where you go to the store and you make purchases mm -hmm. and we have almost 1,100 merchants and retail stores in our network wow. uh, so it's quite impressive we are extremely happy with the positive uh, mm -hmm. feedback from the market mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to also take an opportunity to mention a very exciting program we are participating mm -hmm. in, which is with the GSMA, uh, which is a part of the Bill and Melinda Gates oh, Foundation. Wow. Uh, they work with the emerging markets uh, and with the financial service providers uh, that bring the financial inclusion. Mm. Uh, eCash will be a part of their report for 2021 as the biggest achievement in Central America and the mm -hmm. Caribbean uh, for the financial inclusion and the electronic money. Fantastic wow. news. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you very much. We are very excited about it. And actually, this collaboration is not only about shedding information and the statistics for mm -hmm. eCash, but mm -hmm. also they are bringing a lot of knowledge with data from the other jurisdictions. <coughs> so we can then create a unique value proposition for the Belizeans. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we are working on. And the two big things are coming mm. next year as well. So uh, I, I'm uh, sure I will be here to <laughs> share it as well. Yeah, well, we uh -huh. got <laughs> <laughs> But no, like, you know, I think it's interesting. When, if, we, if we reflect on when uh, the launch was taking place, uh, you know, a part of what, what uh, the mission was to be able to get persons um, included within the financial system, those who perhaps didn't know that they could already and those who for uh, many different obstacles couldn't. Um, how, how are you doing in meeting that objective? Yes, um, this is uh, actually, that's why I mentioned the positive feedback from the market. As mm -hmm. remember, eCash is for our customers, yeah. the Belize Bank customers, mm -hmm. but also customers of the other financial institutions and completely unbanked, right? Mm -hmm. Like you've mentioned, for the different reasons, mm -hmm. right? Not being, a, a not having a bank account. And 70% of eCash users are actually from this segment of being unbanked, wow. uh, which is great. Uh, and majority of them from the rural areas of the country. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we work very hard with our team to make sure that in the rural areas, in the villages, people have an access to the retail stores where yeah. you can go and cash in your wallet yeah. and then transfer money right across the country, yeah. mm -hmm. not worrying uh, when it will arrive yeah. and, and if it will arrive, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so that that's really uh, meeting the main objective mm -hmm. of the eCash launch. And what it's also uh, worth pointing out is that 25% of the entire customer base for eCash is below 20 years old. Oh, wow. So young population really uh, uses eCash well, heavily. Um, which is again one of the main objectives for the unbanked population, right? Mm -hmm. Because eCash is for 14 plus. Yeah. So young people uh, cannot have the easy access to the banking system, to yeah. use the bank accounts, well, to use debit cards. It is the in thing. <laughs> one of the things I get from you though, um, is a sense of gratitude. I, 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 I could sense that from you. Um, it seems that you guys are actually at the spot or had uh, uh, 
past where you expected to be after the four month launch. Tell us about that. Is are you guys at the expectation of, of where you expected to be actually with this ECAT? Yeah, this is absolutely exceeded expectations, really? you know. As uh, I, I think I was mentioning this the last time when we met. Uh, that already the customer base we have right now is something that we planned for three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, that's why we are so grateful and we work with our customers very closely. Um, we are actually asking them for the feedback, what else we can do, what else we can improve, because this is our system, yeah. right? We are using it. It's not something that we are just bringing to the country and we use it as is. Yeah. This is something that we want for the Belizeans to be used on the daily basis. Yeah. So it's their platform yeah. uh, for making payments. You also have interesting insight, I imagine, on, on how uh, the money is being moved. Is it primarily person to person or is it being used at stores? Uh, like I've mentioned, majority of the traffic is person to person. Okay. It's already like 25,000 transactions. Yeah. And it started at the beginning with the small mm. ticket size, with the small amounts, mm -hmm. because people were trying, right? Yeah. Whether it works. <laughs> yeah. Like everybody needs to learn. It's very new, right? Brand yeah. new service on the market. But right now, we see that people are really moving money for mm -hmm. the real business be between mm -hmm. themselves right so the ticket size actually grew from the initial like around ten dollars mm -hmm. right now to the high double digits mm. nice. and where do you see the most transaction being uh, happening in terms of uh, purchases and whatnot would it be at supermarkets would it be at gas stations where are you guys seeing this Triplet. Definitely the supermarkets and restaurants. Mm. Restaurants actually are extremely active. Mm. And yes, exactly <laughs> as well. I see that you are using it. I'm glad yeah. to see that. <laughs> um, but restaurants actually are using it heavily yeah. as we have the feature that restaurant can share the payment link mm. with the customer. So the payment is processed mm. immediately when the order is being made. Mm -hmm. And then the food is just delivered, so customer can just sit in the office, sit at home, um, and do not touch any cash. Mm -hmm. Do not worry whether I have change or I do not have change. Mm -hmm. um, uh, exactly easy well. and convenient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, what has it been like getting merchants on board? Um, at the beginning, uh, we worked extremely hard, like from the beginning of the year to explain to everybody how it will work. And remember, we didn't have service on the market. Mm -hmm. So our team really spent a lot of hours with our merchants explaining and bringing this information mm -hmm. to the table. But right now, it's opposite that customers, merchants, they, they come to us as they would like to use eCash in mm -hmm. their business. Mm -hmm. So we see right now also a lot of requests for online integrations, right? And in Belize, we still don't have this market mm -hmm. uh, being big mm -hmm. uh, like in the other jurisdictions, but we see uh, significantly more attractions. As uh, I'm not sure if you know, we started to have the applications as well for the different restaurants. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so we will be integrating eCash to, to these applications as well. We work with a lot of different websites right now mm -hmm. that you will have the eCash as a payment method so you ah. are able to complete the transaction straight on the website or straight in the application. If I'm a merchant and I'd like to, uh, I'd like to um, apply or get eCash into my business, can I do that? How do I do that and does it come at a cost to me? No, it's completely free of charge. Uh, you just need to contact the closest branch. Mm -hmm. We have the <coughs> team trained to onboard merchants. They walk you through the process so it's not something that you can just go download the application mm -hmm. and start to use it as a merchant because we have a lot of security features especially for working with, with merchants, right? Mm -hmm. To uh, reduce fraud and make sure that we work with the uh, legitimate businesses yeah. to protect our customers. Mm -hmm. So we need to sign the agreement on board merchant and then you can start. We mm -hmm. provide the entire training mm -hmm. uh, to the cashiers, to the employees, to make sure that everybody knows how that works. 
and now you can also pay your bills? Yes, that's actually the next feature specifically exciting yeah. for the unbanked population yeah. because you can pay your bills easily when you have the bank account, right? Mm -hmm. Through your mobile banking, through your online banking, easy in seconds, it's covered, mm -hmm. right? You can save it in your favorite so you don't need to remember your meter number, your customer <laughs> number, <laughs> right? The ID mm -hmm. for your child when you pay the <laughs> tuition. <laughs> I always have a problem with that. Um, but right now, we have integrated this also with eCash. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have a bank account uh, and you use eCash, you can go to the bill payment section mm -hmm. and you can pay your bill immediately. Uh, actually, the utility company will receive money immediately at the moment where you pay your bill. Mm -hmm. You don't need to stand in long lines mm -hmm. worrying that you are in crowd, yeah. um, right? Especially in the situation yeah, that we are still yeah. in. Um, and it's extremely convenient, right? We see that at the beginning also we had uh, the uh, little transactions for bill payments, mm -hmm. but right now it, it grows significantly. Mm -hmm. So I hope that everybody will forget about the long lines and going with <laughs> cash uh, and exact yeah. change for your bill, yeah. um, but we'll just pay it through eCash because it's just convenient and you save a lot of time. Indeed. Yeah. Do you get a receipt for the payment? Well, your receipt is your transaction history. Okay. Uh, in eCash, mm -hmm. right? It, it doesn't disappear. Your transaction history is there forever. Yeah. Mm. Forever. That's Now, that's an interesting part because I think when you talk about, especially the unbanked population and the younger population, mm -hmm. it goes beyond just um, the flexibility and, and how easy it is to use. They're learning to track money. Exactly. This is the management of your personal finance, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. This is the financial education that we hope to bring to the table as well, mm -hmm. that you do not need to give, uh, you know, the little money mm -hmm. to your child, you know, to go and buy mm -hmm. something, right? Or buy school supplies or buy whatever they need. And then it's just gone. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what happened with that, right? Yeah. Through eCash, you can cash in your child's wallet and then everything is fully manageable and you know how much you spend on water, on coffee, on school supplies, how much you spend at Brody's and mm -hmm. at the other uh, stores, yeah. Yeah. right? So this personal finance management yeah. is an extremely important component yeah. that you really can track how you spend money. Yeah. Cash just comes and goes, and you never know what That's happened. That's exactly what I was. I'm like, how many times have I had cash in my purse, and I said, "Where did it go?" Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you right. Cannot yeah. remember. Indeed. Not possible. Yeah. So, after the, so during this discussion, I'm sure you've uh, caught a few of the skeptics, and they would like to uh, probably get the e-cash. How can they? How can they get the e-cash? What do they need to do to start? Yes, for the individual users, it's extremely easy. Mm -hmm. uh, you just go to the Google Store or to Apple Play, depending on which device you are using. Just mm -hmm. download eCash application, the one with the green background, which mm -hmm. is for the individual consumers. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have a bank account at the Belize Bank, you can register as a standard wallet user and mm -hmm. within seconds uh, you can be onboarded as mm -hmm. you don't need to have any ID, mm -hmm. you don't need to have any utility bill, any documentation, mm -hmm. as this is one of the main reasons why people are not opening the bank accounts. Yeah. So we wanted to reduce uh, this mm -hmm. uh, limitation, right? Get, get rid of this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you answer just a couple of questions about your name, your birth date, your address. So we, we also know the, the districts and we can actually see whether it's a rural area or the mm -hmm. urban area mm -hmm. and you are in you just can like that. just like that so you can try as well so so you download the app you get into it you start <laughs> sounds like a demo you about start to happen at, right <laughs> you start at zero zero there is no cash on there as you download how do you mm -hmm. put cash on actually cash? you do not start with zero zero as we have the welcome bonuses for our customers mm -hmm. so you will start with two dollars yes. at the beginning mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you have a couple of options, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have a bank account, uh, we have a network of the retail stores that you can go and cash in your wallet. You go with the physical cash and the store transforms this physical cash into the electronic money. Mm -hmm. How you find this store? 
also through the application. Yeah. As together with the bill payment, we have launched the geolocation in the mm -hmm. application. So you just click on locations and you will see all of the stores in your neighborhood uh, where you can go and cash in your wallet, cash out if you really need cash mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or perform the QR code transactions and, and purchases. Yeah. Okay. I, I saw in the clip just now that uh, they, you also use it for salaries as well. People have been using it for salaries. Well, this is something that we will be launching this month Okay. Uh, as Again, it's quite a hassle for the employers to accommodate different uh, procedures for mm -hmm. the payroll, right? Mm -hmm. For the banked employees, uh, for the unbanked issuing checks, and they mm -hmm. sit a long hour signing checks, mm -hmm. right? So what we wanted to do is, again, to bring some convenience also to the employers and the businesses so right now you can perform the same payroll mm -hmm. and include unbanked employees into this payroll instead of the account number entering the phone number mm -hmm. which is the identifier for eCash mm -hmm. and your employee will be paid immediately cool. the minute you hit send the That's employee it. will receive salary into the eCash and then you can pay your bills you can uh, cash out if you need. You can go to the merchant to make make the purchases. Yeah. What Transfer about the allowances to the children uh, out of the salary. <laughs> Pay so for the tuition, yes. for the electricity, for water services. For your internet so services. So when school oh. reopens, which we're hoping is going to be very soon, have you approached schools for like their cafeterias and whatnot, if the children would be able to use it there? Yes, we are working with uh, schools as we speak, mm -hmm. uh, actually. Uh, our first target is actually to work with the tuitions, yes. right? Because this is the main pain point for the schools, mm -hmm. especially right now in the pandemic mm -hmm. where you don't want parents to come and line up and, mm -hmm. and pay with cash or you don't want them to go to the bank mm -hmm. because you're creating the same lines, mm -hmm. right? So we work with the schools to include them into our bill payment mm -hmm. uh, so parents can just go and pay all of the tuitions uh, from the eCash level. And what about international transactions? I'm getting on that plane, I'm heading over to pro probably to Panama or to the US. How is it? Am I, am I able to use it there? No. Mm -hmm. uh, at this point, eCash is a local Belizean service. Mm -hmm. So the remittances and the international payments are not on the table as yet. Okay. Uh, this is something, remember, that we work with the central bank mm -hmm. as, as we have the uh, USD restrictions in the country as well. So okay. the remittances uh, are not as yet on the table for eCash. But if I'm out there and I need to do my transaction, my home transactions while I'm out there, I'm able to do that. Absolutely. Right. If, if you are traveling and you have money in your eCash, you can absolutely co cover all of your bills. You can pay mm -hmm. uh, person to person mm -hmm. uh, as well. If somebody asks you, yeah. uh, I urgently need something or your child message you that you know, Dad, come on, <laughs> I, I need some more. You can absolutely do that. <laughs> so um, you just need to make sure that you have your wallet cashed in, right? Mm -hmm. Or if you have a bank account, you can uh, you can cash in your wallet also using the uh, online and mobile banking. Yeah. Via the eCash um, app, am I able to see my um, my 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 in like my account status like in the bank like for instance okay i go into my eCash and i need to check uh, what's going on with my banking do i need to get an additional uh, belize bank app to see my transaction there or only? yes these are two separate yeah. okay. right so you have the mobile and online banking for the belize bank mm -hmm. uh, and over there you manage all of your accounts credit card statements, etc. Mm -hmm. And then you have separately an eCash platform, mm -hmm. uh, where is your wallet uh, for making the purchases, for yeah. paying bills uh, and collaborating with the wide portfolio <laughs> of merchants. <laughs> yeah. Am I able to pay a credit card debt with eCash? No. Money? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. So it's, you know, I, I think the idea of... But you are going into the very good direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's to be able to do any, any transaction eventually. I guess that's the goal that you're working towards. 
Correct. Yeah. Correct. We work, collaborate with a lot of merchants as we would like to make sure that really it's something that you can <coughs> use this platform for your daily purchases, right? Yeah. So if I go in the morning and I would like to have fruits mm -hmm. for breakfast, mm -hmm. I go to my local vendor and, and I can buy fruits mm -hmm. uh, from from the lady and, and pay with eCash, which actually we can do on the Connect Drive. Yeah. As well. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some of the coconut water stalls, I hope. Yes. <laughs> I haven't tested that <laughs> one yet. <laughs> uh, but, but what happens, you know, I may accidentally drop my phone and my cup of coffee, you know, um, and I lose, I lose the, the phone or mm -hmm. the capacity to use the phone. What happens then? Do I lose all my money in e-cash? Absolutely not. Uh, when you buy the new phone, mm -hmm. then you install the application mm -hmm. using the same credentials mm -hmm. as, as you were using before, mm -hmm. and your balance will be, will be there. Uh, remember that e-cash is secured. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not something that it's an open application that when you lose your phone, mm -hmm. then anybody can just get in. Yeah. Right. If you if you don't have your phone secured yeah. with biometrics or, or pin number, eCash is additionally secured as well. Okay. So your funds mm -hmm. are safe. Just one caveat. I would like to make it very clear for everybody. Please do not share your credentials with anybody, okay. even if it's your friend, your family. Mm -hmm. This is your wallet, right? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. something that you give your wallet to everybody. Yeah. So we need to treat this in the same way. Mm -hmm. So so there's um, no need to call an emergency hotline and say, please cancel my account. You know, my no. life. Okay. No. You just no. install it in a new phone and you'll be with your credentials and you're able to access everything. That's there. correct. Mm. All right. Well, it seems so, that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it seemed that we're it, it, the new kid on the block. It's a new thing, and of course, I'm glad that uh, you actually told us about the uh, the the younger ones that are coming up or actually mm -hmm. into this. Is there anything you'd like to share with those folks that they might not know about eCash that is interesting as well? Uh, well, for eCash right now, actually, we made this a lot of fun for December which I think might really? be very interesting for especially a this young like giveaway. Line know, population. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and actually we have a lot, you know, because I, I think that December is a month that, you know, you want to spread some joy and, yeah. and happiness. It's, a, uh, I think, the best time of the year. Yeah. Um, so uh, we designed a, a lot of fun activities mm. related mm with our uh, banking operations and, and with eCash. Uh, so one, uh, we have an ongoing campaign uh, for eCash payments. Mm -hmm. So when you scan and pay at the merchant's locations mm -hmm. or when you cash in your wallet at the store mm -hmm. or when you pay your bill mm -hmm. and you make minimum of $200 accumulated for the month, mm -hmm. uh, for each of these transactions, you can then get $50 back to your wallet in the month of December. <laughs> so when you do all of it, you can get in December $150 back using eCash, just doing your regular transactions, yeah. not nothing else. Uh, more than that, mm -hmm. uh, we have our little elves mm -hmm. across the country. Uh, actually, we started this yesterday. Our team goes out. We announce in the morning the locations we mm -hmm. will be at. Mm -hmm. And we are covering uh, partially or in full, depending on the on the bill, customers' purchases. Mm -hmm. So we wow. go to the uh, different locations. And um, yes, this is exactly what was happening yesterday. Mm -hmm. And for 100 customers, every single week, we are covering $25 of their purchases, yep. which goes to their eCash wallet. Yeah. Uh, and this will be an ongoing initiative for the entire month of December. So how do you choose them? Just randomly. You yeah. see our little elves across <laughs> the country. Yeah. They, they go and just randomly they choose the customers mm. and, uh, and they cover uh, their bills. Just like that. Just like that. Sweet. 
That's a happy <laughs> elf to have around. Exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> um, tomorrow, we actually start the next exciting initiative, mm -hmm. which is the pop-up shops mm -hmm. at our locations, mm -hmm. at our branches across the country. Again, it's not just for the city, it's across mm -hmm. the country. Okay. Whereby we invite our merchants, our e-cash merchants, as we want to promote their services as well. We mm -hmm. invite them, they bring their products mm -hmm. and it's the variety of them, right? The groceries, food, drinks, uh, clothing, mm -hmm. accessories. Um, they provide a discount for the customers and we cover 50% mm -hmm. of, uh, of the purchase as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We started mm -hmm. tomorrow and it will be an ongoing initiative for December as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. every Friday. So I encourage everybody to visit our locations starting tomorrow at our branches to have some fun, uh, to explore what our merchants uh, have to offer mm -hmm. and to use eCash. I am just trying to make sure I heard you right. <laughs> it's a discounted <laughs> price from the merchant themselves and you pay 50% of the purchase. So I get an additional half off yes. of item that I'm buying that's when I go to the pop-up shop correct. if I use eCash. That's correct. Well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas shopping. <Indeed>. <laughs> yes, it wow. is. That yes, is a great is. offer. I mean, you know, I, I know you've been living here long enough, Agatha, that you know that Belize we love free things. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. loves free things. <laughs> <Everybody. laughs> you, know? you have to say it right, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you know, it, it's we, we really want to make it uh, fun and, yeah. and joyful. I think we've been through a lot yeah. during the last two mm -hmm. years. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you know, I think everybody yeah. deserves some some joy, some happiness, and, and we want to help with that. All right. Well, Agatha Ruta, my goodness, you came here bearing gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Santa hat? Yeah, exactly yeah. right. I didn't have my hat. Indeed. Hand. But we're so thankful that you were able to join us this morning to share with us the good news uh, mm -hmm. of uh, the new kid on the block, the new thing that everybody is actually flocking to. And uh, we'd like to wish you a very good day. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to, to be here. Yeah. And I hope to see you soon, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Definitely. Christmas, right? Merry it's Christmas. December. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you. Have a good day. You too. You too. All right. So we're about to take a break. And uh, when we come back, of course, we have a rep in from Haven House. They'll be talking about the work that they do and how they provide shelter for those who need a way out. We'll talk about that in a moment.